Okay, here's Google Maps main page. Uh, to get to the Create Maps option, you have to go down here and uh, open up that menu, this drop down menu, and choose your places. Uh, from that, you choose Maps. There's a bunch of maps I've made. You just create a map, opens up another link here, and uh, you can change that to satellite if you like and zoom into the location of where you want to start building your map. Um, I'm going to use a Texas example here. Uh, and let's say I want to go from Belleville over to New Ulm and back down to Bernardo. And uh, these are some lesser roads, so this ought to work out pretty good. Okay, once you're here, you'll need to add a new layer and a new driving route and when you get that thing done your cursor turns into a plus sign and you can start uh, you don't have to zoom in too close it finds the road and uh, and then you can uh, then it tracks you sometimes it tries to find a faster route you may have to back up and set an anchor point uh, to get it to go down the road you want to go so there's one right there I'm going to go up to this one right here up to New Ulm set it over here and then I'm going to head down this direction I'm going to set an anchor there I'm going to go down here and I'm going to, oh, I'm going to set another anchor over here somewhere and then uh, I'm going to and finish it there okay once you have the route planned or laid out on the map you should probably save the file just click in the temp area there in the untitled area and change the file to some name that you would like and uh, then after you've named it, you need to just simply export it into a KML or KMZ format. The preferred format for uh, Basecamp is uh, KML, and when you hit the download button, it goes the file goes directly to your download folder on your PC. Just because you have the route laid out, you're not stuck with it. You can edit the thing. For example, if you want to, say, divert over here to... Frillsburg and uh, then back around to the road that you uh, originally had planned to go on you could just simply uh, there's an anchor point you see showing up there you can simply grab that anchor point and drag it over here and lay it in there and you've changed your route um, you can also change the destination let's say you want to um, extend your your destination back over to here and um, go over here to Sealy. So you just drag the point over there. But you don't want to take that road. You want to take another road. So you just simply grab an anchor point right there. You drag it over to another road, and there you go. So there's the route now. Okay, with Basecamp open and your device connected to it, you simply uh, click on the folder that um, you want to import the file to and choose File, Import to that folder. Uh, choose the file you want to import and say OK. So it puts it in the list. There it is right there. And you see it's there as a track or a route uh, from the KML file. The next thing you want to do is label this thing, uh, rename this thing if you'd like to something else. But I won't do that right now. And uh, next thing you have to do is uh, create a route from the selected track. And that may take some time. So uh, you wait for that to happen. And uh, you see the progress go and, it's, and it'll ultimately turn it into something you can edit or export to the uh, device. Once it's, it's finished rendering, this is what you see, this pink route as Garmin calls it what you imported was what Garmin calls a track some additional items have been added to the list here and to export it you simply right click on it and choose send to find your device in this list click on that and then hit OK once it has uh, finished transferring the route to your Garmin you need to disconnect the Garmin and turn it on uh, you might have to go through a few motions of um, accepting the um, user agreement and that sort of stuff, or it may just go directly to uh, the operating system. And there it is. There's a warning. I have to agree to that again. 
But as soon as it, you get past that, it tells you that it found new routes. And do you want to uh, import them to the trip planner? So you can say yes on that. And uh, choose the route. Here it is. And then uh, choose to import that. And so it's saving or calculating the route. And then you can go to uh, the apps. I think you go to the apps and go to the trip planner. And there's the route right there. Select it. And then you can choose the map. I have to press it there a little harder. And there's the route. Easy peasy.